Next, it's time for this first question. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me pull up my cheat sheet here. Forgive me for this. All right. Hands on your buttons. First question. Yes. What is the best mode of transportation in a Lego city? Brick adjuster. Hey, Hayden, are you on vacation? Is this vacation is like for you a bowl of blueberries? On a sofa bed. At 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Okay, we're back here at Philly Brickfest. And I think it's gonna be Family Feud coming up, but later tonight there's gonna be bowling. Bowling at the bowling alley. And what Chad was telling me was everyone, there's gonna be teams of six and you take a bowl and then you have to go and build a set. And then the first team that finishes their set and finishes the game wins. So it looks like a guy in his bricks has arrived, but we missed them. Clutch said that he went to the Lego store. And this is another mosaic that I made. Randomness. I just randomly just put any Randomness. colored brick on top. And this is what Tristan made. He uh, he kind of butchered Mason's minifigure face. What is this thing? A computer? I know, but what is it? What, what can we win? This stuff? Here's the Brick Show's booth. We got a bunch of these video games here. Skeet ball. A bunch of minifigures. There's Jason and Steven and his family doing some stuff. Oh, this is cool. These are custom figs. So I just picked up a beast minifigure from the brick show plus a torso. We surveyed for the answers to the questions. So I can't do this. So come on over to the theater and check out Lego Family <laughs> Feud. We're doing another one tomorrow, I, no which is open to anyone who wants to play. Okay, we're about to start the Lego Family Feud against Kelly and Bubba. You can see them over there. Over there. I'm sitting right next to the brick adjuster is me, Matt's Mox. Matt's Mox. Look, it says brick adjuster and big boom. On this side, we got the brick adjuster family. Brick adjuster, BZ, Little Muskets, and Big T. All right, guys, come on down. It's time to play the few rigs. It's time for this first question. <laughs> All right. Let me, pull the, let me pull up my cheat sheet here. Forgive me for this. All right. Hands on your buzzers. First question. Yes. What is the best mode of transportation in a Lego city? Brick adjuster. Car. No. Car. Show me a car. Oh, sorry about that. All right, Bubba Bricks, come on, let's go down here and keep on playing. Doesn't he have to guess? He has to guess first. Yeah, you gotta guess first. Uh, we'll say train. Show me the train. All right, all right. All right, right, right. All right, you want to play? <laughs> all right, so we're going to play. What? Best mode of transportation in a Lego city. Motorcycle? We got a motorcycle up there? Yay. All right. Skateboard. Skateboard. Oh, man, Number three. Didn't, it didn't show up. There we go. Huh? Oh, walking. walking. Oh, that's the best way. A leisurely stroll. Come on. And number two, monorails, the deadliest Lego weapon. All right, BZ, it's on you. What is the deadliest Lego weapon? The gun. Can we got a gun up there? Oh, yes. yes. All right. <laughs> Nothing goes together like Lego and blank. Big Coffee? Nothing goes together like Lego and coffee. Coffee up there? No. All right, you got a chance to take this one. Fill in the blank. Nothing goes together like Lego and blank. Well, you should know this one, Kelly. You should know this one. Alcohol. Nothing oh. goes together like Lego and alcohol. Awesome. Nothing goes together like Lego and awesome. 
Get the hands up there. <laughs> not yet. Not, uh, that, that was a foul ball. We'll, we'll give him that one. It's fine. All right. Remember, the answer to this question is a number. What is the best stud width for Lego vehicles? Number, number, any number, Mason. Any number, any number. Hit the buzzer. All right, Potato Head, what is the best stud width for a Lego vehicle? Probably two. Is it two studs? <laughs> Not this one. All right, you got a chance to get it. What is the best stud width for a Lego vehicle? No any pressure. Number. Any number. Don't worry about not it. Not infinity. It's not infinity. <laughs> Definitely not negative one either. <laughs> oh, he said two already. He said two. Let's get another one. Pick a different number. Is it three? Is three studs up there? No. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry about that. All right. So, you, is it seven studs? <laughs> they get all those points. Oh my God! The brick adjuster family gets those sweet, delicious, juicy points. They are, they are far up in the league. That's fine, we'll give them that. All right, so we're, we're going to skip over to you. Since this is a kid's question, we're going to give it to them. What would be the first thing you would build with Lego? Spaceship! It's a spaceship up there. Ooh, a delicious spaceship. A Lego person. Is a person up there. No, 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 not this time. So we were able to win the family key game. How did you end up getting your most favorite Lego set? And we got... The Ewok Village. Hey, hey. What, what, what? <laughs> the Brick Adjuster and TMX together. Awesome. So right now, Bricks for Chris and Ocean Brickfire are staging the city, the huge Lego city here. As you can see here, there's the nice brickwork all the way around. You can see a fall man and Bricks are, Bricks for Chris up there, waving around. There's a Batmobile over there. It's huge. Over here we got the Quickie Mart. We got Thick and Bricks and Brick Lover 18. Trains coming around. We got a nice camel over here. And some construction going on, and some houses. Residential area. Ooh, I like the grass. You got lazy. You didn't. You didn't cut all the grass here. You just kind of left a little, uh, little spot. Oh, he's in the middle of cutting the grass. I didn't even see. <laughs> figure that out. Nice. And there, the trains are going. Two Blood is in effect. It's Chris, Chris for Chris. Now this is the Lego yard sale. This is where everyone brings things to sell. So let's check out what they have. Uh, oh, but there's some Toy Story. There are $15 Toy Story. Old Star Wars. Hey, do you want to buy something? I mean, it's like anybody who can pay with some cash money is accepted in this thing. Oh, stuff. Also, a good old, salesman. We have brought my birthday. Uh, Hogwarts Express sticker, too. Is yours? Yep. Um, next. Take care. Yep. How much for the robot, Emma? Uh, which one? The robot end? I mean the robot uh, DJ? Ten. Ten. These are ten. And these so here's me and Ficken and this is what we got at the yard sale. We got the robot Emmett. I mean the robot DJ. We got the Emmett and we got the T... TC4. Yep. Nice. Here we go. Polybag collectors right here. Here we go. So these sets just got set up right now which is Friday evening. I like them. Very cool. Liberty Bell, the Love 
statue, some flyers jersey, I'm worthy elephant. How many basketballs do you have here? Approximately. Pardon me? How many basketballs? No? Yeah. How Fifty. Uh, 50. 50? Yeah. But I bring uh, almost 200. Was this um was this smaller at one time and then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger? Uh, the first show I done I had four. Four, okay. Now I Wh have which ones are the originals? The blue one. The blue one. The yellow. Okay. Uh, the, the tall the tower. one. This one. And uh, this one. Maybe. So kind of like the corners, right? And then you just kind of added the middle. Now, yeah, because. We have to figure an, uh, an exit and an enter. I see, yeah, so yeah, yeah. We have to. Okay, I'm checking the soccer ball. And it goes up. Up the stairs. Right here. Go. Oh. It's faster than you think. Flipped over. And it shoots it through. Lost it. Lost it. Oh, there it is. There's a blue one. Oh, so it just depends. There it is. Mm -hmm. That's so creative how... what you think of just to make it go. It's stuck. No, because it has to be... <laughs> okay, there we go. Right here on the right side. There we go. Back up. Right there. Into the basketball now. Nice. And then these guys just take their time. Here we have a shield helicarrier. But it's a mock. Pretty cool. We're heading back to the hotel now. But later on, we're going to come back for some bowling.